Hello and welcome back to Error Analysis Essentials, brought to you by Physical Sciences Consultorium. I'm Sanjay, and in our previous episode, we introduced the concept of error analysis and its significance in scientific research. Today, we're going to dive deeper into two fundamental types of errors, systematic and random errors. By understanding these errors, we can improve the accuracy and reliability of our measurements. Let's start with systematic errors. Systematic errors are consistent, repeatable inaccuracies that occur due to flaws in the measurement system. These errors can be caused by factors such as instrument calibration issues, environmental influences, or procedural mistakes. For example, if a scale is miscalibrated and consistently reads 5 grams too heavy, all measurements taken with that scale will have a systematic error. Now, let's talk about random errors. Random errors are unpredictable variations that occur in measurements. These errors arise from uncontrollable factors such as slight changes in environmental conditions, human error, or inherent variability in the measurement process. Unlike systematic errors, random errors do not have a consistent pattern. For example, if you measure the same quantity multiple times, you might get slightly different values each time due to random fluctuations. Random errors affect the precision of measurements and are best managed by taking multiple measurements and using statistical methods to analyze the data. So, what's the difference between systematic and random errors? Systematic errors consistently skew measurements in one direction, affecting accuracy, while random errors cause measurements to vary unpredictably, affecting precision. Understanding both types of errors is crucial because they impact the reliability of our data in different ways. To identify systematic errors, you can compare your measurements against known standards or use different methods to measure the same quantity. Once identified, systematic errors can often be corrected by recalibrating instruments, improving experimental procedures, or compensating for known biases. Regularly maintaining and calibrating equipment is essential to minimize systematic errors. Managing random errors involves strategies such as increasing the number of measurements, averaging the results, and using statistical analysis to estimate the uncertainty. By taking multiple measurements, we can reduce the impact of random errors and obtain a more precise estimate of the true value. In summary, both systematic and random errors play significant roles in error analysis. By identifying and correcting systematic errors and managing random errors, we can enhance the accuracy and precision of our measurements. If you found this episode helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to stay updated with our series. Your questions and comments are always welcome, so feel free to leave them below. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for our next episode, where we will explore measurement uncertainty, accuracy, and precision in greater detail. See you next time!